we have seen what a basis is and we have also seen what a subspace is. Now there is one notion that brings these two things together and this is the sum and the direct sum of subspaces. Let me explain it. So here is our definition. Assume that we have two subspaces. We have u1 and u2, there are subspaces of a vector space V. And now we first define what the sum is. The sum uh, of the two spaces is defined as follows. Is defined as, and we write this u1 plus u2, a normal plus sign between the two spaces, and this is defined, oh sorry, is defined as the following set u1 plus u2, where u1 is in the first space and u2 is in the second space. Okay, so this is uh, simply, we take all possible combinations or linear combinations if you want that extends um, and then we get a new space and this is called the subspace. You might consider that the thing we get is really a subspace, it is not just a set. Um, and if you don't see that right away, please sit down and try to prove it, it's really easy. Now in this definition we did not exclude so far that u1 you, you and u2 overlap, for example. But in many cases, we are more interested in spaces that do not overlap. And ultimately, we want to say something like there is a space and its complement. And to be able to do that, we need to define what is the direct sum. So the sum that we have just seen is called a direct sum. If each element in the sum can be written in exactly one way. If each element in the sum can be written in exactly one way. So I mean, if there is an element in the sum, it is the sum of u1 plus u2, and this u1 and u2, these are unique. So there are no other vectors that would also produce the resulting sum. The notation, if this happens, is then we write u1 plus with a little circle around it u2. And this means, um, so, so by the circle around the plus, we indicate the direct sum, which typically also assume, I mean, and by making this notation, we also say we believe that u1 and u2 are disjoint and uh, in fact linearly independent. So you can now think about whether this, um, when this happens, and it happens exactly if u1 and u2 are linearly independent. And now we can define what a complement space is um, and its a definition and a proposition at the same time. Suppose that v is finite dimensional and that u is a subspace And the statement is now there exists another subspace that we are going to call W, and in words it's going to be the complement, such that U and this other subspace jointly are, are a direct sum that uh, spans the whole space. So then there exists um, a subspace W such that U plus W is the whole space. And I think once you understood the concept of a direct sum, this is easy to see. So let's uh, write a proof sketch. So the sketch is assume we have a, a basis of our or a span like a basis of the subspace U. So let U um, say we call it U1 to UK be a basis. Oh, I see. Uh, capital U is a bad um, name for a basis. We just simply denote the set. Let the set 
the set you want to UK be a basis of U. And now, by the theorems that we have seen or the propositions that we have seen before, we can take this basis and extend it to a basis of the complete space. So extend it to a basis of V, which means that we need to, uh, to add certain vectors until we end up with a, a linearly independent set that spans the whole space. Um, uh, say the resulting set is, so we might have U1 to UK, and unless U has been the complete space, there will be more vectors V1, say Vm. And so say, say this is the resulting set. This is now a basis of our vector space. And now we define, so the, the first vectors here, this is what gives us U. And now we simply define these other vectors as the ones that give us W. Uh, so we define W as the set, v, uh, sorry, it is not the, the set itself, but it is the space spanned by the set. So it is span of W1, lowercase w1, sorry, uh, v1, vm. And this set does the job. You can now prove if you want. I mean, formally, you need to prove that this is now a direct sum. It's pretty clear because um, we have just constructed a basis. And with the basis, each linear combination that you can write out of the spaces, is in, you can only write uniquely because it's linearly independent. That's the definition. So um, by this construction, we achieved what we wanted to have.